What up, reader fam? Today I'm going to be going over my manga, graphic novel, and comic collection. This filming location is currently driving me crazy because there's a wall right here, and there's a bookshelf on this side, and it's just really inconsistent and it's throwing me off! But anyways, my collection consists of four shelves on this here bookshelf right here behind me. We've got this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf that you can't even see. The one that's down there. There's four. <laughs> Eventually, I want this whole bookcase behind me overflowing with manga and graphic novels and comics, but I'm kind of taking my time to slowly collect them over time. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First up here, I have the A Silent Voice series. I have not even started or completed this series. This is actually recommended to me by Miss Emma Reads a lot, and I just picked them all up because I had gift cards, so I thought might as well just buy the whole series. Hopefully I end up enjoying it though, because it's gonna be pretty sucky if I end up hating it and I've bought the whole series. This series consists of Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6, and the last volume, Volume 7. Then I have here a personal favorite of mine, the Bakuman series. I haven't completed this series either. I'm currently on the 15th volume of the series, and I've really just been putting it off because I love this series so much. It was one of the first manga series that I got into, and I've just been putting off finishing it because I don't want it to end. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9, Volume 10, Volume 11, Volume 12, Volume 13, Volume 14, Volume 15, Volume 16, Volume 17, Volume 18, Volume 19, and Volume 20. Next I have Blue Exorcist Volume 1. The next to Blue Exorcist I have the first four volumes in My Hero Academia. I'm currently on Volume 2. First up we have Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Next to that I have Seraph of the End Vampire Reign Volume 1. I actually picked this one up not realizing it was about vampires and I'm not a huge fan of vampires, so I've kind of been putting off reading it, but I feel like I'll probably end up enjoying it because it's not like the typical vampire story, but I don't know. Let me know down below your thoughts on this one if you've read it. And next to that, I have the first volume in the One Punch Man series. I have been so excited to start the series, but I've been not allowing myself to start it until I've read some of my unread manga, so I'm holding off for now on this one, but I'm expecting to end up loving it. I really hope I love it. Then I have the first volume in the Siren series, Series. This one is still wrapped up because, again, I've been holding off reading this because I want to read some of my unread manga, but a friend recommended this one to me and they really love it, so I'm hoping to pick this one up soon. Then I have this One Piece bind up that contains Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. Then I have the first volume in the Girl from the Other Side series. Then at the end of the row, I have the Orange Complete Collections, the first two volumes, and then I have Orange Future, which I really didn't like orange future, unfortunately. <laughs> but anyways, this is what they look like. This is volume one, this is volume two. I adored these first two volumes. And then like I said, I just wasn't a fan of orange future. This next row is kind of a mixture of both graphic novels and manga. First up here, we have Ghostopolis, The Witch Boy, Coraline, the graphic novel. Then next up, I have the first five volumes in the Amulet series. We've got book one, The Stonekeeper, book two, The Stonekeeper's Curse, book three, The Cloud Searchers, book four, The Last Council, and then book five, Prince of the Elves. I think there's like currently eight volumes in this series. I'm just like way behind in reading it. Then I have this graphic novel called Explorer the Mystery Boxes and this brings in a bunch of different artists and they're each given a topic. This one is obviously the Mystery Boxes and they have to write a short graphic novel story surrounded around the prompt given and I really like it because it kind of exposes you to more graphic novel artists. Then I have City of Light, City of Dark. Then I have All You Need Is Kill and this is a manga standalone and I really liked it. Then I have the first two volumes in the Death Note Black editions. They've got the nice black edges. They're pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Then I have this graphic novel called The Rinchies. I really wanted to like this. I really loved the art style, but the story alone, which is kind of not my thing. Next, I have this one, Summer. Then I have Boxers and Saints. These have a super satisfying book cover that when you put them together, they come together and make a picture. It's so pretty. Then we've got In Real Life, the graphic novel adaptation of Legend. Then I have the entirety of the Tokyo Ghoul series. I'm currently kind of stuck on volume nine right now. I like loved the first seven or eight volumes I would say but now I'm just like stuck on volume nine it's so boring and dragging I need things to pick up again got volume one volume two volume three volume four volume five volume six volume seven volume eight volume nine volume ten volume eleven which is super heck of bloody volume twelve volume thirteen and volume fourteen next to that I have volume one in the delicious and dungeon series then I have the graphic novel 
for the Mortal Instruments series. The reason I say graphic novel is because it feels more like a manga to me. This is actually like my least favorite Cassandra Clare series, but I was really excited to find out that they were turning it into this, especially because I love Cassandra Jean's art style. She's got a fantastic art style. Next to that, I have another book by Cassandra Jean, and that is Reindeer Boy. Then I've got the first two books in the Children of the Whale series. This is a new series that I started recently, and I've really been enjoying it. It kind of has a Studio Ghibli feeling to it, but then I feel like at the end of Volume 1, it takes a different direction in the style, like it's less Studio Ghibli because things kind of go insane, which if you've read the first volume, you know what I'm talking about. Then I have American Born Chinese, Anya's Ghost, and lastly on this shelf, I have Lost at Sea by Brian Lee O'Malley, one of my least favorite graphic novels. I love Brian Lee O'Malley, but this one was a miss. This next shelf, I have a majority of my comic trade paperbacks, and then I have some graphic novels and whatnot. First up, I have the first four volumes in the Wicked and the Divine series, one of my all-time favorite comic book series, even though I'm hecka behind in it. This is the first volume, volume two, volume three, and volume four. Then I have the first volume in this graphic novel called Flight, and this is actually put together by the same person who did this Explorer graphic novel that I was talking about earlier. So basically, a bunch of artists were given the topic of flight, and they had to write a story, a graphic novel story, about that topic. Then I have Low, Volume 1, The Delirium of Hope. Really didn't like this one. I kind of need to unhaul it, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. Then I have Witches. Next, I have the first two volumes in the Monstrous series, which is a series that I haven't started yet, but I've been so excited about. I don't know why I haven't started it yet. I've just been like putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So I've yet to start it, but I really want to. The artwork is incredible. So this is Volume 1, Awakening, and this is Volume 2, The Blood. Next, I have the graphic novel Ghost World. I understand why people love this so much, but I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Then I have the first four volumes in the Wood series. We've got Volume 1, The Arrow, Volume 2, The Swarm, Volume 3, New London, and Volume 4, Movie Night. I think there's a couple more volumes out now, so I'm a little bit behind on this series as well. Then I have the Fade Out series, which when I first started this series, I really didn't like it. But then I read the second volume, and it just really grew on me a lot. So now I have like a respect for it, and I really, really love it. We've got Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. After reading Fade Out, I wanted to try something else by the same writer. So I picked up Death Chases Me, book one. Then I have Five Ghosts, volume one. Then I have the Young Avengers series, which is my all-time favorite series. It's so good. We've got Young Avengers, volume one, Style Over Substance, volume two, Alternative Culture, and volume three, Mic Drop at the Edge of Time and Space. If you're looking for a series with incredible art style that kind of like breaks the norm and like does its own thing, I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking out this series. It's incredible. Then I've got the first four volumes in the Miss Marvel series, a series that I really enjoy. Miss Marvel No Normal, Volume 1. Miss Marvel Volume 2, Generation Y. Miss Marvel Volume 3, Crushed. And Miss Marvel Volume 4, Last Days. Then I have Spider-Gwen Volume 0, Most Wanted. I have the first two in the Amazing Spider-Man series. We've got the Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, The Parker Luck. And then Volume 2, Spider-Verse Prelude. Ant-Man Volume 1, Second Chance Man. Then I have the first four in one of my other all-time favorite superhero comics, and that is Hot Hawkeye, so underrated, oh my gosh. Hawkeye Volume 1, My Life as a Weapon, Volume 2, Little Hits, Volume 3, LA Woman, and Volume 4, Rio Bravo. I'm also very, very behind on this series as well. Wayward, Volume 1, String Theory, Volume 2, Ties That Bind, Alex and Ada, Volume 1, I really liked this first volume, but I just have no desire to pick up Volume 2. Deadpool, Volume 1, Dead Presidents, I've decided that Deadpool is just not for me. Avengers Arena, Murder World, Volume 1, Kill or Die. Then tucked in here, we've got The Shadow Hero, which is actually a graphic novel. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This is actually what the Netflix series is going to be based off of, I believe. Then we've got Afterlife with Archie. Then I have one of my other favorite comic series, and that is Gotham Academy, which unfortunately has been canceled, which is pretty sad, but... I still love this series and I hope that they one day bring it back. We've got Gotham Academy Volume 1, Welcome to Gotham Academy, Volume 2, Calamity, Volume 3, Yearbook, and then this is Gotham Academy Second Semester, um, Volume 1, Welcome Back. Then I have Fables, the Deluxe Edition, Book 1, The Unwritten, the Deluxe Edition, Book 1, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible, A Marvelous Memoir by Stan Lee. This is basically a comic memoir on Stan Lee, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't read it yet, but it's still pretty cool. Then I have this graphic novel adaptation 
adaptation of Frankenstein by Gris Grimley, who is an artist that I really love and I need to pick up more stuff by him because his style is just so cool. It just reminds me of like Tim Burton for some reason. Then I have Doctor Strange season one. I don't really know what's up with this edition, but I really, really loved this volume and I loved learning more about Doctor Strange. Then I have here The Sleeper and the Spindle. Then I have The Graveyard Book, which is a graphic novel adaptation of the novel The Graveyard Book. This is the first volume. I think there's only one other volume, but I never ended up picking it up. Then I have Honor Girl. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I wasn't a fan of the story and I wasn't a fan of the art style, unfortunately. Then I have a classic here. I've got Blankets by Craig Thompson. Nimona, which this graphic novel is so stinking amazing. Oh my gosh, I want her to write more. Then I have Compass South Volume 1. This is a great start off to this graphic novel series. I need to pick up Volume 2 as soon as possible because I really enjoyed this first book. If you want a haunting, spooky graphic novel, I highly recommend Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Then I have The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil. Then I have The Sculptor. And I know that I keep raving about all these graphic novels, but this one, this one, oh my gosh, it will punch you in the feels and you might cry. I don't think I cried. I might have cried while reading this. I can't remember exactly, but so good, so emotional, so just... Mm. Then I have Super Mutant Magic Academy. And lastly on the shelf, I have Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, another favorite graphic novel of mine. Like I said earlier, I didn't like Lost at Sea by Brian Lee O'Malley, but I loved this graphic novel. It was so good. And this is the last shelf I have to show you guys. Uh, this is kind of a mixture shelf. There's some graphic novels, there's an art book, there's a manga. So let's just get started. First up here, we have Starting Point. This is actually a novel by Mr. Miyazaki himself, who is behind the Studio Ghibli films. Then I have this graphic novel adaptation of Beautiful Creatures. Then right here I have this art book full of art from the movie Big Hero 6, which is my all-time favorite Disney movie. Then we have this stack right here. First up we've got this graphic novel called Not Simple. Started it, haven't finished it yet. Then I have this graphic novel called Cast No Shadow. Again, started this one, didn't get very far, haven't finished it yet. Then I have Giant Days Volume 1, not on the test edition. Then I have Paper Girls Book 1. I've just started this one so I don't know too much about it, but I really enjoyed what I read of it so far. Then I have this huge sucker of a book. This is Deadly Class Volume 1, Noise, Noise, Noise. Um, I've read the first two volumes in this series and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I ended up deciding to trade out the trade paperbacks to get this hunk of burn and love. That's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked seeing my collection. You guys should let me know down below if you have any manga recommendations, comic recommendations, or graphic novel recommendations. I'm always looking for new ones, so hit me up down below in the comments with your recommendations. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon down below, and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-choo!